Hey, it's Mike Clemens in the fan van on I-35, bumpy I-35 in Minnesota where there's trees, a lot of guys wearing flannel shirts, listening to public radio, driving around looking for a good Norwegian smorgasbord for dinner. All right, I'm working and you're kind of bothering me, but I was going to say the Green Bay Packers get a win in this one. 27-17, Packers get a win. It's not going to be an easy win, but they're going to get a win. I have absolutely zero, zero worry about the Minnesota Vikings in this ballgame. Packers go to 5-1. and one. They come back home. They knock off the New Orleans Saints. Barring any kind of a catastrophic injury, they go into the bye week 6-1. and one. Mark my word. Well, first of all, the Packers are really going to miss Morgan Burnett on defense. Uh, he's out for a couple of weeks with a hamstring injury. Hey, guys, got a tweet that said, I love Bart's takes, but not during Vikings week. He's too obnoxious. Well, the Packers are going to put their money where my mouth is. Packers going to roll in this one, 31-17 and it's not going to look that close. Go Pack Go from the owner of the Green Bay Packers meet. Boy, just looking over some of the tweets I got <laughs> over my Packer prediction. Man, I hope some of you don't talk to your wives and girlfriends this way. I think Minnesota's going to win this game 20-16 to on Sunday afternoon. We'll see you Monday morning on Chuck and Winkler. On offense for the Vikings, I think they're actually very happy to hear that Case Keeman is, in fact, their starting quarterback. I don't think they're happy about that quarterback committee thing between Sam Bradford, his sore knee, and Keenum. Uh, but it's a huge blow that Stephon Diggs is out of this game with the groin injury he suffered Monday night in Chicago against the Bears. So, Hey guys, I think it's pretty simple. I think the first team to 20 points in this game is going to win, and I'm going to say the Packers do win. It's going to be a little bit tougher because they're in Minnesota, and I'm not really sure how many Packer fans are going to be filling U.S. Bank Stadium like we saw last year. There weren't many. It's going to be loud. I say the Packers win 24-13. What are you doing? Guys, it's baby guys, it's baby Tausch here in Minnesota. Oh, let me get this thing off. <laughs> They're like the Cardinals. Uh, look, look at this thing. We need to get a Bernie Brewer one of these. Anyway, Packers are going to win 24-10 in Minnesota. I'm here for the game. We'll see you later on this week. I'll give the uh, Vikings two touchdowns, two field goals. I say the final score is 31-20. What's up guys, hey, at Disney World, actually the Pacific Hollywood Studios. I have no idea what's going on in the last week really. I know the Packers won, I know Morgan Burnett third, I know King may not play. That's about all I know. I'll take the Packers if it's the Vikings. Packers 24, Vikings 10. Hey, it's Cody Grant, producer of the Chuck and Winkler Show. Packers, Vikings this Sunday. I got the Packers 27 to 20. There's no way, no way they're gonna lose to Minnesota. I'm telling you, I'm as confident as anybody in this entire station. Hey, it's Steve Zofke and Jeff Rolowski from the Final Inspection Show with our pack of predictions. I think for me, my biggest concern is uh, Everson Griffin. The Packers can control Everson Griffin. As Sparky would say, roll out the helmet. It's going to be a dominating win for the Packers. So what's the score? Uh, I'll go 38-17. All right, for me, my biggest concern, Harrison Smith. I think that guy's a badass. Uh, but I think the Packers roll. I'm going to go 37-13 Packers. Hey, what up? It's Nathan Graham with 103.7 KISS FM. Uh, oh, dude. Uh, the Packers are rolling, and they're finally going to have a week off, I think, this week. A little miniature bye week. They win 27-14, crush the Vikings.